I know how I feel about it. I, I you know, uh, hearing my father talk about, as he would explain it to us, there's no, there's no word in the English language that can make you go to hell, right? So, like, when he's talking to you like that, you, you question when you're a kid. You're like, well, what, what does that mean? You know, and then... Uh, there's something kind of exciting about these these words that you're not supposed to say. And in our household, he's like, yeah, you can say whatever you want. If it if it if it helps you get a, get the point across of what you're trying to express, why why is that wrong, right? Um, and I actually agree with him. Um, I think that certainly there's a time and place depending on other people's preferences. You know, I'm not going to start swearing at you right now for for no good reason, you would be, you know, potentially offended. But, uh, you know, I, I think that that's kind of what they instilled in us, which was an understanding of where and when to use, uh, you know, the words, right? The bad words. You know, for them, um, where, listen, if we all wanted to go out and do a bunch of drugs, my parents were like, you know, that's, that's a bad idea. They would have conversations with us, and uh, so none of us, wound up doing drugs. I mean, they led by example. So I think it's interesting um, where, because I grew up with a lot of friends that, you know, were experimental and I, I just, it had no allure for us. So I think there was some kind of magic in the in the parenting skills of, of Frank and Gail to where they always kept us so engaged. We, we always had uh, a, a seat at the table uh, in terms of conversation with whoever was coming by the house, uh, so it was really we're really blessed in in um, uh, to have them as as parents. And Frank was he was one of a kind. He was just so awesome. Yeah.